What's up guys? I'm Randall. This is Absolute Veteran. Welcome to another episode of Grunt Proof Gear Testing. Today we're talking about the US Army Bivy from the modular sleep system. I'm gonna show you an old infantry field craft tip and I'm also gonna show you how to test the waterproofness or water resistance of this item. Many of you already know about the modular sleep system, especially the Bivy. It's one of the best time-tested pieces of gear. Uh, the Bivy alone is an asset to your camping gear in basically all scenarios. So today I'm gonna to show you a trick with it that you probably haven't seen. This is an old field craft trick I learned in the infantry. This is the military wet weather bag. Some people call it an NBC bag. Some people just call it a waterproof bag, whatever. There's a lot of uses for this. The standard army use is to put this inside your Alice rug and put all your gear inside of it, close it up, you can just roll it up, twist it a whole bunch. You can use the actual ties to tie it. And that waterproofs all the gear that's inside your rug. And hopefully you've put everything you don't want ruined inside there, especially your clothes that you need on a field op. So if you have water crossing or if it's just pissing down on you nonstop, all your clean and dry clothes stay that way. There are a few drawbacks to this. Number one, it's pretty heavy. Number two, it smells like total ass. You leave your stuff in there just for a few minutes, it's gonna smell like nasty chemical rubber. Even just messing with it, I noticed my hands would always stink. So if you're in the field, stinking is not an issue. You're gonna smell either way, especially in the grunt world. But what if I told you there was another way to use this same system with another piece of gear that you're probably already carrying? So you're bivy. As I've mentioned before, most grunts no matter what the temperatures are, they're still going to carry this. A lot of guys use it as their sleeping bag in the summer, just in case it starts to rain on them at night. A lot of soldiers would not bring the entire MSS to sleep in the winter, but they would bring the bivy, which is pretty good at keeping you warm, and then they would just put all their ECWCS clothing on under it. Because you have to carry that cold weather clothing anyway, you're probably carrying this anyway, so why double up on layers when your ruck is already gonna be heavy enough? And I was one of those soldiers. I always carried the bivy, no matter what season it was, no matter what we were doing, I had this with me because you don't always have five-star living conditions. As a grunt, you could go out to a range to shoot for that day and think you're coming back to sleep at night in your nice barracks or whatever tent they have you in, and then you get stuck out at the range for some reason. It starts raining, you're sleeping outside. If you don't have at least this or a poncho to put over you, you're done. So, here's what you do. We would take our bivy, zip it up just a little bit, you throw your bivy down in your ruck, you put all the clothing you want to keep dry in your ruck inside the bivy, you get rid of some excess material, depending on how full it is, you'll have to zip it up a little more. So let's say the Alice ruck is totally full, we got about that much, and then you can just twist your bivy. Go ahead and tuck the excess down into your ruck. Now you have a waterproof or water resistant bag in your ruck without having to bring that stupid rubber sea burn bag. I did this with my ruck once I learned it early on in my grunt days. And from then on, everywhere I went, my bivy was my waterproof bag inside my Alice ruck. So this included serious rainstorms all over the world. Um, during deployments, I would do it. I did it in Eastern Germany when it would be cold as hell and just rainy and snowy nonstop, 20 days and nights out in the field, and my stuff always stayed dry. You can put it in your ruck as a wet weather bag. It protects your stuff from rain, but what about submersion? Is it totally waterproof? Let's put it to the test. All right, that's pretty heavy.
test is ready to go. We've got about 10 liters in this bag. That equates to about 10 kilograms. Calculate that down to about 22 pounds. So we're gonna give it some time to stop dripping from the exterior. As with all the waterproof tests, we're gonna set a timer for an hour, let this thing hang under pressure and see what we're looking at. Seeing as how the bivy is not claimed as a waterproof bag or 100% waterproof, this is kind of an unfair test, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let's make our way out to our uh, expensive high-speed lab. All the exterior drips have seemed to stop. We got an invader. That's good, we got some strong sun that helped dry it all off. So after 10 minutes, it's almost bone dry on the bottom. That's a really good sign. We're gonna give it another 50 minutes, see what it looks like. So far, it's looking like this bivy is totally waterproof. All right, final countdown. Bone dry, absolutely bone dry. So I didn't think this would pass this test. I thought it would slowly drip through, but um, this material is totally waterproof. Submersible, heavy rains and all. One hour test passed. And this is actually a 13 year old bivy. This thing has seen some abuse and it still is that good. So for the people who always make fun of military surplus items, I challenge you, find a civilian bivy that doesn't cost an arm and a leg that'll last this long through tons of grunt abuse and still pass a test like this. I dare you. For more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. We have a ton of items to test, and I'm going to show you some really cool gear. I'm going to put it through the grunt proof testing. Until then, I'll see you guys outdoors. Take care of yourselves. Ciao.